Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you the latest version of Aussie Render, which comes with a multitude of uh, overhauls and improvements and new features. So the first thing that you're gonna see when you open it up from scratch is that uh, the interface has changed a little bit. Uh, we've got the, a more of a focus on the visualizer now on the left. And on the right side of the screen, you're, instead of seeing the, the long list of effects that you had before, um, it's now simplified and you now see this lovely grid of effects. Um, you'll notice immediately that when you hover over them as well, you'll get a little preview as to uh, what they look like. You'll also notice that there's a, a lot of new effects uh, listed here that weren't there previously. I'm gonna get into that in a bit more detail in a little while, because uh, I want to focus first of all on some of the new uh, interface features for opening files and also uh, seeing a bunch of example files. So to open a file now, you just click this plus icon here and you'll see a bunch of different examples uh, off the bat. For example, I could click this uh, 3D cube, and then if I hover over the rotation effect, you'll see that like rotate in 3D live. So that works like, nicely. You can just close this if you want using the, the bin icon, and then you know open something else. For example, uh, there's some cool Lua files for the gravity well. This will show you the Lua code here. Obviously you can like resize this uh, as normal. You can also rotate it and start to see that in 3D. So this looks really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna leave this one open um, for now, but I think, yeah, you can see a bunch of different examples here um, and start to just immediately play around with it. Um, of course, you can always just import the file as usual. Um, so here you can import MP4 files, GIFs, images, all the rest of it. Um, so there's no change to that here. It will just open immediately in here. If I go back now to uh, the effects panel, which is probably the most exciting part of this new update, I'm gonna go one by one over some of the new effects and what you can play around with them. So to start with, we've got this bounce effect, slightly more um, <laughs> gimmicky and comedic. Um, if I slow this down a little bit, um, you got like a DVD style bouncing thing just to, you know, I don't know, maybe it's nice to add on uh, to the end of uh, a chain of different effects. Next, we have the duplicator effect. This is a really, really uh, needed uh, effect. And there's a bunch of different ones that you'll see later on that are like the same style where we're duplicating the image uh, in different ways. So uh, yeah, here you can like choose the number of copies of the image and it increases and decreases smoothly. You can also change the sort of spread of that image um, as well as the speed in which it's rotating. So yeah, uh, nice effect. The next new effect is a God Ray effect. This one just produces sort of God Rays around the edge of the image. You can change where those rays come from using this um, slider and you can also change the, the strength of the effect with this slider. The next effect is the kaleidoscope effect. Um, this one is quite similar to the duplicator effect, but is more focused on um, interesting visuals when it comes to sort of like kaleidoscope. So if I were to open the gravity well again, for example, you're gonna see this looks a lot more interesting um, than for example, the duplicator it almost looks like a sort of spider web or, or something. Um, I could try opening a cube as well. You can start to see how this sort of like merges into each other. You control that merging um, with this clip uh, parameter. And again, similar to the duplicator effect, you can spread them out a bit um, by doing this. So I think that's a really, really cool new effect. Um, the next effect is multiplex. So if you've seen my video called multiplex, it's a similar effect to uh, what's going on there, but now native in Aussie render, which is awesome. So this is a repeating grid of your image. So you can repeat it in the X direction, in the Y direction, and even in the Z direction. So you can sort of see how the, that uh, repeats in the 3D direction. Um, there's also this smooth function. If I put this all the way to here uh, and set these all the way to uh, one, this now smoothly changes uh, the numbers uh, of repetitions as well. So you can get a slightly better sounding effect or more interesting sounding effect. Awesome. Um, the next effect is the polygonizer effect. This is an interesting bit crush style effect that um, essentially makes the image that you're rendering look like a polygon. So for example, here by default, we've got this um, you know, pentagon showing. Uh, we could change the number of sides and it will smoothly change between them. 
and uh, you know make it look more triangular here. If we reduce the stripe size, we can start to see exactly where the effect's applying. You know, increasing that all the way is going to just make the entire image look like a, a triangle. Um, you can obviously like enable, disable it uh, using this, and uh, you can play around with some of the rotation and things going on uh, using these sliders. So yeah, really cool distortion um, effect that looks awesome and sounds awesome. Next, we have a much more simple effect. So this one is called skew. This, as the name says, it uh, skews the image. So if I change this to static, you can see that this changes like the tilt of the image in the different um, orientations. So even in the Z direction as well. Um, cool. So yeah, the next effect is the spiral bit crush effect. Um, this is quite similar to the uh, polygonizer or the regular bit crush in that it's like a distortion to the image. Um, if I apply this to the regular um, square, it doesn't look um, like, you know, you can't really see the spiral out of that. But if I open up a just example thing like Hello World, you'll start to see the spiral effect. So you can see it kind of like expanding outwards and then uh, jumping backwards. If I mess around with the different uh, density settings, you'll start to see that a bit more clearly, I'll show you. Um, if I enable it all the way as well, you can really start to see that showing. There you go. Um, I think this is quite a cool thing to play around with as well. Um, you can see this really starting to spin. Um, again, if you like disable that a bit less, you can start to see that effect more strongly. So I think there's a lot of interesting parts of this to play around with um, and to like tweak to make it look and sound really awesome. The next effect I want to show you is the twist effect. Uh, this is one of my favorite new effects. Um, it's a really simple effect, but it is uh, really awesome looking. So if I go on a bit of a simpler example, like the basic square, you can really see exactly what this is doing. Um, you can change this back to static, so you can like control this yourself. Really, really awesome effect and works very well with like all of the images that you throw at it. The next effect I want to show you is unfold. So again, similar to uh, some of these other uh, effects that create different copies of the image, this one uh, does it in a, in a spiral direction. Um, if I open something like Hello World again, you can really see uh, why this is called unfold. Uh, it's really like unfolding a new copy of the image each time it moves. So again, just to highlight the different values you can play around with. Um, at one, it's just one copy of the image. Uh, if you increase that, it will uh, duplicate the image more and more into uh, more copies. And, you know, sounds really interesting and looks awesome. The last new effect is called Vortex. So uh, this creates like a, for a vortex around a certain point, And this rotation controls like where that point is. Um, you can change the strength of the vortex. So if I'm increasing this, there's like more places where it's spinning around. I think like just a default amount looks awesome. And yeah, again, if I put this to static, you can kind of see like what's going on here when I'm changing that. I just wanted to be give a big shout out to Anthony Hall, who uh, was responsible for uh, adding lots of these new effects. So vortex, the spiral, bit crush, polygonizer, um, kaleidoscope, and a couple of others as well. Like. Thank you so much, Anthony, for uh, doing that. Like, this is a, such a big improvement to um, Aussie Render, and I'm sure everyone in the community is going to really appreciate that. So, thank you. Um, that was really it. Um, so, those are the core new features of Aussie Render. I think you'll notice uh, a couple of other minor things as well as you play around. Um, but yeah, I would really be keen to hear your feedback on some of these new features. Uh, would love you to play around with them and yeah, just see what you think. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.